What's going on guys? This is Damien from the lookout and I I just woke up. I just woke up and I'm totally seeing the band list for the first time. This is my genuine reaction. One second. Thank God I don't have friends to message me about this band list so I can give you my general opinion on it. Anyway, let's start with this reaction. Um, huge auto to the coffee club, which keep me going. Anthony Hain, Bryce Chapman, Miguel. What's this? Nave. Emre, Ryan K, Frank Naso, Scotty Newton, Eric, Bixen. Bryce, Fernando, Derek, Adnan, Jakub and Golden Feather Kiryu. These are two dollars and up patrons, they keep us going, they buy us coffee. For times such as this, when I totally wake up and no one told me anything about the bad list until I sat at my PC and saw it. Uh, if you want to join the coffee club, link to the Patreon is in the description below. Let's just get this over with. Roll the video! I'm going back to bed after this. So anyways, as with all of our videos, let's just start with a breakdown. We just got an emergency ban list update. What got hit? Who are the biggest losers of the ban list? It's not super apparent until you actually think about it. And finally, what happens now? Let's go! After weeks of talking about how super combo loops are toxic for the game, only a single card got banned, only a single super combo loop is dead, and that is the green one. Yes, literally nobody is shocked. But anyway, Vegeta preparing for battle is banned. The green super combo loop is now dead. It, it cannot be done anymore. Gohan will survive this, don't worry guys. I have spoken with top Gohan players. Everyone agrees that like, yeah, we will survive this. I'm just gonna play like the Gohan super combo or Paragus or something. Like, it's not a big deal. If anything... It allows you to run two or four other cards in your deck because you're not wasting slots on Super Combo anymore. So no worries about that. Ironically, ironically, the deck which is dead is the Red Exodia Gogeta deck. That one is hurt far more by this than the Green Gohan deck. And Green Gogeta, unfortunately, this hits Green Gogeta in a non-super combo interaction ways, because this allowed you to get some of your Gogetas back. That's an issue. That's a bit of an issue, but hey, it is what it is. Now let's jump into the comedy section of the video. The reason. The reason. The loop had overperformed. That is true. That is factual. This loop had overperformed. It was completely unhealthy for the game, I'm not super sure about this one, though these are my words, so what? I guess I was sleeping, I was sleepwalking when I was typing this. Anyway, um, super combo loops in general are unhealthy for the game, that's what I meant. But, uh, and by extension, this was an unhealthy interaction, of course. Thank God it's only unhealthy in green. Can you imagine if you had a super combo loop which just discards card like discards destroys your hand and then like you can't do much about it and then the player just keeps getting it back that would be toxic thank god that we don't have this in the game or like can you imagine just dropping your opponent down to four lives because you can't control control yourself and then they just do this weird super combo loop like 20 20 times in red and they just draw like their entire deck and murder you 
No, the, the must be delirious. Those, those things don't exist in this game. Apparently, they don't exist. The biggest offender is getting 10k and drawing a single card. That's the problem that we're dealing with here. Not even drawing two, drawing one. That's the issue. Anyway, here is the comedy section. Here is the funniest part of the reason. Now you know that Bandai's reasons are always wacky. And this one is like somewhere at the pinnacle. This is why I put like the little clown here. Since we expect green to be a strong... I can't even read this with a straight face. Since we expect green to be a strong color in the near future. We're going to ban this card. If you have seen the leaked tournament packs when they were leaked, you know which decks are coming in the next set. You will see them soon enough. The spoilers start next week. But like, um, yeah, green's gonna, <laughs> green's gonna be strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a strong color overall in the near future. Cell is a living testament to that. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the funniest part of the reason, but uh, yeah, the logic still stands. Kudos to Bandai for interacting with this, uh, with this super combo loop. Super combo loops shouldn't be possible, especially in green. No, not especially, exclusively in green, they shouldn't be possible. Now let's talk about the errata. There has also been a single errata, a feeble attempt to stop Exodia Gohan, to prevent the Polish Spice. First off, congratulations to Denzel for breaking the game in such an, in, in such an unimaginable way that got Bandai so scared that, that they actually nerfed the combo as fast as possible. Like, record speed. Congratulations, Denzel. Now, this is another green errata. Another one. Yes, you're hearing me correctly. Another green errata in BT21. Here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Um, we just got a chance to get another green errata. And they still haven't fixed the bug for the cell, the, the little robot. They still haven't fixed that one. Keep that in mind. They still haven't done that. Anyway, all of your energy now must be mono green for the field card to work, to use the activate main. So the idea is to prevent Exodia Gohan because you need red energy to make it work. Here's the funny thing. As soon as this came out, Denzel messaged me and said like, yeah, no problem, there is a way to do this only with green energy, with mono green energy. So uh, we will have an updated version of Exodia coming out soon. Yes, a feeble attempt to stop the Polish Spice, I cannot wait to see it. Finally, let's talk about the losers of the ban list. The only loser of the ban list is Gogeta Exodia, the red one. Uh, now you might be thinking like Damien, but what about green? Green just lost it's a super combo loop. Isn't this a big deal? No, it's not. I've never been a fan of the super combo loop. I was like, why would I waste four more card slots for this? I mean, yeah, they're technically super combos, but still, we'll just go back to playing Paragus, which is the best draw two super combo in the game. So we'll just go back to playing Paragus or the Gohan one or whichever one you want to run and we'll be perfectly fine. Well, Gohan is strong enough to carry the color even without the super combo loop, no problem. Uh, Gogeta Exodia, on the other hand, is now almost completely unplayable. You lost your way of getting your Gogetas back from the drop to your hand so that you can Union Fusion for free and draw a card. This deck is pretty much dead at the moment. It's pretty much dead. However, however, this isn't even the biggest clown fiesta of this ban list. This is what is the biggest clown fiesta that I have seen so far. This is the biggest loser of the ban list. Like this is actual clown fiesta at this point. An actual crime that Spy Robot got another chance 
to be unerratted, to be actually playable in the newest cell deck, and he still didn't get it. This card is still literally unplayable in the newest cell deck, the deck which it belongs to. Just think about this. This card was made for the newest cell deck. It's unplayable because of the leader's errata that you can't play non-androids. And it never got an errata and Bandai now had a chance to give it an errata for it to be finally playable and it still isn't. At this point this is like actual crime. <laughs> like someone please call the fun police because this is an actual crime against the poor spy robot. Come on. Like I've never said that a ban list was a joke but this is like this makes the current ban list considering that no other super combo loops were addressed that uh, apparently from what i have been told denzel already found a way to break exodia gohan anyway and that spy robot didn't get an errata to be playable this is the actual like this is an actual joke like this is this ban list is an actual crime a real joke man but yeah that's it for the ban list. Before we end the video, let's just jump into the summary. Super combo loops are fine and healthy for the game. You should use them, you should abuse them as much as possible, as long as they aren't in green, which is a broken color, which will get better. It will be strong. It will be strong, guys. Anyway, super combo loops are fine and healthy for the game. Just don't use them in green. If you use them in literally any other color, it's fine. Uh, go back to playing Paragus again. So if you're a green player and you're like, Damien, what do I do now? I'm just going to tell you, go play Paragus. Because why not? And then just replace four copies of Vegeta with something actually better. And that's it. Problem solved. Exodia Gohan will be fine. Just wait. We will have the updated list hopefully soon on the channel. And... I must say, for those of you who have followed the channel back in the day when Exodia Gogeta build caused the table to die, to be flipped and destroyed, the table finally got its revenge. The table is the biggest winner of the ban list. And yeah, that's it for the video. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this update. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you upset that Super Combo Loops are only toxic if they are in green? Are you mad because of the injustice that the Spy Robot has been facing since the release? The discrimination that Spy Robot has been facing, the poor little bug, literally unplayable. Let me know in the comments below. I read all of your comments, I try to respond to everything, I love our little community. This was like an emergency video, I'm back to constructing the studio in the other room because we're gonna need it for something that's coming hopefully next week and uh, then we can resume on our regular schedule. Anyways guys, this has been Damien from The Lookout. Hit those like and subscribe buttons, help us get to 3000 subs, that would be awesome. And stay tuned for the updated Gohan Exodia list. This has been Damien from The Lookout and I'll see all of you in the next video.